These taco stuffed poblano peppers are perfect for smoking on a Traeger or pellet grill. They're a lot more flavorful than bell peppers in my opinion, and they're super easy to do. Just start out with eight poblano peppers, remove the stem, and then slice them in half lengthwise before removing the membranes and any seeds. I like to have a little bowl by the prep station, and you can just cut that out over it, give them a pat on the back, and all those seeds will come right out. Moving on to the filling, start out with a tablespoon of oil in a large skillet over medium high heat, and then add a pound of extra lean 96.4 ground beef. I like to carefully press that flat to create as much surface area as possible and to maximize the browning here. Be sure you don't skip this step. There's so much flavor in those little crispy browned bits. And then you'll break this apart and just fully cook before you add an 11 ounce can of corn. I use one with some added chipotle peppers here, a little extra heat, and then a 15 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes and taco seasoning. You'll stir all this together. If you're using, say like a fire roasted corn that's frozen, you may need to add a little bit of water or broth just to bring this together. I'm gonna add a 12 ounce bag of frozen cauliflower rice. I know, yuck but this adds a lot of volume and you kind of get some rice action without all the carbs of rice. You could use real rice, you could skip the rice altogether, you could add something like cream cheese or low fat cream cheese. Just know that modifying these ingredients will affect the volume of your filling, so you may need to slightly adjust how many peppers you have. Like if you create a, if you use rice and cream cheese, you're gonna have a lot more filling to work with, so you may add a few peppers to your grocery list. Be sure you're really pulling apart the peppers and stuffing your filling into every little nook and cranny. And then you're going to throw these onto your Traeger or your pellet smoker or any grill you preheated to 350 degrees. And then these will go for about 30 minutes. You should have some slight browning, wrinkling. These should be pretty much fork tender and good to go. You may need to move some around from the hot spots like at the front of your grill if they're getting a little too dark. And then you're gonna throw on five to six ounces of shredded Mexican cheese. For best results, you'll use freshly grated, but I took a shortcut here and used the pre-shredded stuff. These will go for about 10 more minutes until the cheese is melted and kind of bubbly. And then they're ready to pull off the grill. I like to garnish with a little fresh cilantro, salsa matcha, or hot sauce. They're great with sour cream or fat-free Greek yogurt and a little bit of lime juice. Hope you enjoy this. Like and subscribe for more videos.